Hamlet get us underway. Back it goes to Jack Holland. Sprayed out towards that right-hand side. Osler jumps highest. Out as far as Timlet. Header goes straight up in the air. Second header heads on. Hicks, right wing. In it goes to McQueen. McQueen to Mills. Mills back to goal. Edge of the 18-yard box. Turns and fires past the right post of Will Mannion. But it wasn't a million miles away for the talented 30-year-old striker. Roberts on the left flank. He's got Clifford inside of him. Into Clifford. Back to Roberts. 25 yards from goal. Lining up a shot and fizzing it past the post of Charlie Granger. Not a bad effort from James Roberts. He played a good one-two with Billy Clifford to work the space for that shot. And just missed. Oscar Goburn and Billy Clifford stand over it. An awkward angle to cross this one in. Left foot of Goburn towards Paul Rooney. Flipped on, being away by Granger. What an athletic, acrobatic save from Charlie Granger. Diving down to his right to palm it away. Hamlet clear. Tim Lynn. Giovanni McGregor touches heavy, but he'll keep it regardless. He's got Blackman outside of him. Blackman, first on delivery, into Mills. First touch is good. Second touch is past Will Mannion. Danny Mills with his eighth goal of the season to give Hamlet the opener. Just 11 minutes into this one. It was a good ball into him, and he did very well to kill it dead and fire past Mannion seven yards from goal. Dulwich Hamlet one, Hamlet Waterlooville nil. Oscar Goburn striding forward. Out it goes to James Roberts. Can he cut in from this left flank? Shifting it onto his right foot. Whipped in. Stooping to beat his Baggy. Baggy. It loops over Granger. It's in in the far corner. Out to my Baggy, the most diminutive man on the pitch. Has equalised for the Hawks with a header. Roberts cut in from the left flank. Crossed the ball towards the goal. And Baggy bent down to flick it over everyone. Under a clear night sky. Free kick coming in from the left for Hamlet. It's a good ball. It's flicked on. It might drop loose. Tommy Wright tries to clear. Falls over his own clearance. And it's a penalty for the Hamlet. A nightmare moment for Tommy Wright. He tried to clear the ball. He tripped over his own feet. And an outstretched leg caught a Hamlet player trying to force that ball into the net. The diminutive Jordan Green, his opposite number. A steady run up. It's Green. It's 2-1 to the Hamlet. Cooley slots it past Mannion into the bottom right corner. The Cambridge United loney didn't move as the ball trickled behind him. It didn't have the greatest pace, but it did have the placement. And the Hamlet find themselves 2-1 up at the end of the first half. Adam. Billy Clifford, 25 yards from goal and back on the ball. Clifford's coming forward. It's Abdullah Baggy. Baggy in. Baggy scores. Equaliser for the Hawks. They're back in it again. It's Abdullah Baggy, the Sierra Leone international. Right hand side of the penalty area after a layoff from Billy Clifford. Smashes it past Granger into the net. The Hawks have clawed themselves back from behind yet again in this game. Your score, having the Waterlooville 2, Dulwich Hamlet 2. Finds its way through to Oscar Goban on the halfway line. Goban just cool and elegant as he slows things down. Ball goes forward over the top, looking for the run of James Roberts. Roberts leaves it for Clifford. Clifford's in. Clifford's shot. Saves Charlie Granger down to his right. Good palm away. What a hit, Billy Clifford. But you could argue, Adam, maybe he shouldn't have given Charlie Granger a, a charge from that position. No, it was a great position. A really, really good charge for Billy Clifford. It was a great strike. Hawks will try and whip this one in from the right-hand side. I think it's Joe Newton who's going to pile this one into the area. Again, our vision slightly obscured. Back it goes short, but it goes towards the back post. Over everyone, not it down across the face of goal. No one there in white to tap it home. At the back post, I believe it was Paul Rooney that time, not Joe Wasser, that headed it back right across the face of goal. Joining us here on Hawks Radio, 17 minutes gone in the second half of action. Matt Drabble alongside Adam Nixon. Your score, Hamlet Waterlooville 2, Hamlet 2. Abdullah Baggy could be in. Baggy streaking down the middle on his right foot. He's on a hat trick, it's blocked well by Sterling. Baggy back on his left foot, cross towards the back close. No one there in white for the Hawks. A cheer this evening from the centre back position. Looking down the right hand side, just a little chip death there. There's a little bit of handbags going on, on the right hand side, and you'll have to forgive me, Adam, because I didn't really see exactly what caused that. I was focused down on my notes, but it really has all kicked off on the far right hand side. And a couple of players getting involved in a little bit of afters. I'm going to be, you know, speak to you with the highest authority here, because I have no idea what happened. It all just started kicking off, and it looks like the referee has brandished a card on that far right hand side. Adam, what did you see? Of action. Into Tommy Wright. Wright chipped in towards Billy Clifford. Clifford left hand channel. Back to Wright. It's Tommy Wright. It's a great save by Charlie Granger. Just five yards away from Tommy Wright. Wright burst in and Granger spread himself and beat it away as Wright looked to wrap up things for the Hawks. Doesn't. 
Clifford takes too long over the switch. We'll get a second bite of the cherry. That one wasn't much better. Third bite of the cherry. Finds Paul Rooney. Rooney out to Pasley. Ball has to go in the area. Laid into the path of Baggy. By the byline, back across goal. But only as far as a man in Dulwich Hamlet pink. And cleared away. And that will do it. Your final score. Dulwich Hamlet 2. Hamlet and Waterlooville 2.